Okay, hello. So we are going to continue on the uh, programming. I mean, uh, we are going to look at the syntax. So we're going to learn about very simple syntax first. What happened when you uh, have a look, uh, when you compile it and later try it on the uh, software itself. Uh, sorry, on the hardware itself. So um, let's try to go back to the command that we have just now. So the command, the first command that we always learn is about move.long. Okay, move dot long, uh, sorry, move. It's just about move. Move is something that you're going to put your data to somewhere, which is uh, how to write the code is like this. So this is a pattern. You can see that this is a by color coded. You have to start with the origin 1000. In simulation, you always normally start, normally start in 1000. But anyway, you can start from anywhere. But in, in by default, by default, the uh, software will start it at 1000. So what does that mean? Origin 1000 means you are going to have your coding start at 1000 location at the memory upside from your CPU. So remember that just now we are looking at the DDR just now for example. So when you have that particular uh, RAM, you are going to assess uh, from the 0 to FFF, right? So you are going to give the allocations for your software starting from 1000. So you have the head here, origin, and you have the tail. This is a must, okay? you must open and close. So the first one is about this one, how to write down. So basically you have three parts, uh, I mean three sections over here. This, the first one, they call it just label. You can just put name something label like this. And you can see that uh, this is all color coded. The second one is uh, the the they call it the uh, syntax or the, uh, the the syntax that you are to use. So for this type of syntax, this is about move. So move something, move this one to this one. Move this one to this one. So move will have the size. So what does it mean here? Move dot long. This is long. Long is long word. So long is long word. Hmm, what is it? What's the problem? Okay. So long is equivalent to long word. Long is long word. You also can change it to move dot w, which is w, which is the call it word. And the last one they call it byte. Dot byte. So what's the difference between this all of these? So long word is uh, 32 bit in size. And the word is in 16 bit in size. And the last one is 8 bit in size. So let's try the first one just now. Move dot long. Long means 32. Okay, means that you can put up to 32 bit data inside D1. So what is this D1 here? So now you have all these eight figure eight digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each of the figure represents four bits. So four times eight is equivalent to 32. So you run this one. If your code have no problem, there will be no errors. So let's say you have any problem, let's say you just put move D and then the color is different and there will be an error which is a call it error invalid opcode warning address expected so you can just have a look over here and look at the coding where's the problem so you double click this one it will show you this one and here you have to debug that one so you go back to the original syntax so run this one and you can execute so when you go to this particular page interface your, your your line uh sorry your your syntax is not yet executed you can see that this is where your uh your program is waiting for you to run it so i have not run this one so by default you can see that all your registers for data registers and address registers all are zero so this command is to move dot long hash dollar sign dollar sign means in hexa number dollar sign means hexa number and hash means 
is a data which is a number in this case it, this is the number which is the data so without hash is different with hash is different so we are going to concentrate with hash first so hash to d1 so if you want to execute it you can execute it one by one by line you can go here this is the call it the the, the by step uh, execution so when you run this one you can see that your d1 now have this component a a b b c c d d which is this data and you completed the software the coding okay so let's try another one say let's say for example you want to go to d7 you can just change it to d7 run again and then execute it again you can see that the data is over there at d7 okay let's try to uh, have another one maybe d5 just to compare you want to execute it and as you get it, see D5 is inserted with this number. Okay, let's try uh, to change this one to Word. So first time you just use Word, compile it first. Oh, it's error, right? It's error. So what does the error mean? So error, immediate data exit 16 bit. So here, the data here, the total data will be 32 bit but you are actually going to move only word size which is 16 bit so 32 minus 16 you have exit up to 16 so it is correct immediate data as 16 bit so what you need to do is you have to remove some of the data over here so maybe up to only 16 only so you have ccdd so let's run this one no problem execute it and then run here look at d5 d5 still 0 nothing here then execute the line so you only given the d5 a word size which is cc and dd okay so again very simple you can try another one by byte move dot byte the data to d5 Again, it has errors over here because of extra of 8 bits because this is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. But you are sending only 8 bits. So there are exit of 8 bits. So this one 8. So you have to change maybe onto CD. And then maybe you want to go somewhere else. You want to go to D4. You run it. And then you look at D4. It only has CD. Okay, so that is the way how you want to send a data by having its size like this to data registers. So very simple this one. You can put anything here to D4 but make sure that you have the hash and dollar sign. Let's say for example you, you forgot to have the dollar sign here. Let's say for example here without dollar sign you just put 100. Okay, 100 so you run this one there's no problem right so there's no problem so you want to execute it you go to d4 it's 64 why it is not 100 why because without the dollar sign you are referring the numbers to decimal numbers so let's go to the base just now Decimal numbers. One more calculator, start that. Okay, uh, mode base three. Decimal hundred. So you convert it to hexa. You got sixty four, which is correct at sixty four. So let's try to put a here. Is it correct? Or not you can put a. Or not. When you run. There's an error because this is invalid syntax. In decimal, A is not exist. So there will be only a numbers over here, like that, for example. So make sure that you do not forget to put hexa. If you want to use hexa numbers, you are still you still allowed to use decimal numbers, but you need to understand uh, very fast the conversion like that. 
So this is about uh, sending the data to the register. You also can move around the, this data to any registers by having the same external command like this. Move move dot byte. Same again. Like so for example, we just uh, have this one first. Move dot long a a b b and then move dot by d four to d eight. So what does it mean? After you execute the first line, the program will execute the next line. So the first line is going to save this value to d four, and then after that, the value, the contents of d four, will be moved to d eight by having this size. So let's try to prove that one. Close. So D8 is not allowed. It's only D7. Now you have no problem. Execute. So you can run one by one the syntax. One the first one is this one. Look at D4. A A B B. And the next move is to D4 to D7. Look at D7 here. For the byte size only. You are taking BB from here, copy to here. So this is a command for move around. Means you can move here to between registers and the number to registers and also between the registers. And you also can move the value also to the address register. So how, how you can do it? It is the same like having this one. Let's try for example here. You put A4. Then you put A4 here to D7. So you run this one. There's a problem here because of the problem here. You are not allowed to have this one, but uh okay. So we are going to use W first because this is the address. Okay, I don't want to confuse you guys first. So let's try to have a look on this one first. So you also can move this one to A4. See? You got the value forward size in A4. Same goes to uh, DDCC because this is move.long. Then you can have this one done, DDCC AABP. So to put the data inside the data registers and address register is more or less uh, the command is the same. Except for the address register, later you are going to learn they have a few rules that you, you cannot just simply push the data out or copy from there. Data is very flexible where you can just have that one from here to there. Okay, so the next one, how to send the data, this data, out to the memory outside there. For example, the locations, because just now you have uh, this uh, view, I mean, uh, hold on there. You have uh, this memory outside here from 000 up to FFFF. So, probably you want to put a data over here at this location. So, how to do that? So, the process is like this you want to put this data to that location right just now. So, you can just simply put the address like this dollar sign only without the hash, dollar sign only 000. zero, zero 0, 1, 0. So you are going to put the value, this value, to this memory location. So is it working or not? So let's try. There's no problem. So run the program. Okay, now view your memory. See, the memory now have this information has this data but you must understand that each of the locations of the memory only can have 8 bit of size which is DD, CC, AA and BB so the number of memory will be uh, increased like this so DD will be at 0010, uh, CC will be at 0011 AA will be at 0012 and the final one will be at 0013. So the rest is FF by default. So now you are putting this value to this location.
let's try again to look at the result just now I just want to put this one all off first so you, run, you execute this one but before that you just view the memory output look at this location there's nothing yet so when you run the command you can see that the value here is going to the locations labeled as 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is how you are going to uh, put the data into the memory location. So how, how to read back this uh, value, come back and bring back to the data register. Let's try. So after you have this value inside your uh, memory, maybe you can try to move this value back to the other location. Move dot long the locations of the memory zero, 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 one, zero, to maybe go to uh, D, uh, D1 maybe yes so you're going to read back the value from the memory so let's run it there's no problem let's execute it so your D1 is still empty and your memory location at this one is still empty so you run one by one this is uh, already give uh, the already uh, giving the data to these locations and this is move.long the contents of this location is going to D1 you see the difference if you put hash the data this is the data going to D1 but now without this hash this is referring to the memory okay let's try going to D1, D1 now nothing so now DDCCAABB is taking back this one because this is move.long let's try move.w from the memory to the data okay so run this one okay so this one move.w from these locations to D1 only in word size so word is 16 bit so I am expecting only DD starting from here which is a 00010 and CC because this is 16 bit. The rest I cannot take it because it's more than 16 bit. So it should be DD and CC. So let's look at the results at D1 here. Yeah, only DD and CC. Same goes to byte. Let's run the last one byte. Okay. Here byte, let's run this one. First, you have the data at your locations. And then you want to read only byte size from these locations to D1 only. So you are expecting from this location starts, you have to start from here. Only byte size is this one, DD only. The rest is normal because it's only byte size. So I'm expecting D1 to be DD. So it's correct. So what we have learned from this one just now, you have uh, your CPU here and from the software you can insert the data to data registers here or address register this is data register and this is uh, address register and you also can send the data from your software send the data go to the outside memory memory will always draw like this eh? so it start from uh, 0000, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, and the final one is F, 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 F. Okay, this is the last one. This is the first one. Okay, so for example, just now we are sending it to the location that that is it 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 is even. So this is even address. Even, so one of here. And then this is the odd address. So we are putting the data here and then you read back to the data register so you can see that how you can uh, play with the data you can put the data inside the register you can swap from here to here to the between registers and also you can go to the memory and come back here okay so this is the main uh, uh, very uh, the, the simple concept first before you can move for the next uh, syntax because they are going to be quite uh, more syntax you need to learn and understand so the first move is the basic one so hopefully that you guys can understand from this one uh, thank you very much so we are going to continue on the next one thanks